<laughs> Winston, come here. I don't think he thinks it's funny. He's like, Mom, save me. Save me, Mom, please. <sighs> so again, today I did have to go up to school after church. And I worked a little, a little finish up my room. My desk is organized. It looks not good. And my seating chart's finished. Ooh, that took hours. Literally hours. And yes, Arthur was correct. I do have seven classes this year. I have kindergarten through sixth grade. It's gonna be an interesting year. Good year, but interesting year. Arthur and I also had our talks today, and I think uh, in church that is. And I think. And I think they went okay, went well. At least people told us they liked it. I don't know if they were just being nice or if they really enjoyed it. I told Arthur the people that tell everyone that they enjoyed their talks that told me that they liked it. So I don't know if they're just the nice people or not. We're gonna make tacos and then I've gotta get to bed. We'll shower obviously and get to bed and figure out what I'm taking to lunch tomorrow because it's the first day of school for the students, of course. I have been at school for the past week. Well, dinner time's over and it's time to Put away all the food. Today was, I don't know, it was a mixture of feelings because we're excited that everything went well with our messages that we shared at church. And then we're also kind of panicked because now is the first day of school. And so Melissa has so many things on her mind. And I can only imagine what she's going to because this is her third year teaching and she feels like now she kind of knows what she was doing. Uh, she feels like now that she kind of understands what she wants for the kids. Because before she was like, I want to be a good teacher, blah, blah, blah. But I think that some of, some of the meetings that she had this year uh, as a teacher, I think helped her kind of gain the focus that she wanted, that she always wanted at least. I don't know, she seems like she has a different kind of energy, that she is more gung-ho and like is planning things out, even just in her pastime. Being a teacher is really a more than a full-time job. It's like you're on call when you're at home because she doesn't stop. It, it's a never-ending process being a teacher at home because she'll be thinking about such and such kid. Because her school is also a deaf ed program. And so not only is she teaching music to like kids who can listen and things, but she also has to learn, or not learn, she also has to figure out how to teach music to kids who can't really hear. They can feel stuff and they can kind of see things, but they can't really hear. So that's a whole spectrum of challenges that she's trying to figure out how to take care of in the best way possible. But she's a smart girl. I'm sure she'll figure out what she needs to do. What she needs to do. But as for me, it's time to edit and work and see what these dogs are up to. All right, Winston, say goodbye. That's the end of the day. Say goodbye. All right, well, he didn't want to say goodbye anyway. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.